The U.S. Forest Service shutting down Tuckerman Ravine, Huntington Ravine, and Gulf of Slides, warning those who violate the order to self-rescue. One of the volunteer teams that the agency calls on for search and rescues is concerned about COVID-19. This is a risk that we're in dealing with now that's nothing like we've ever dealt with. Stephen Dupuy of Mountain Rescue Service helps stranded or injured hikers in the most difficult terrain in the most difficult weather. But the coronavirus danger poses significant challenges. There are 45 members on his team, but because some are high risk, they now only have about a dozen readily available for rescue. So we're at a, at a quarter strength at the moment. During a rescue, there's no social distancing. They have to work shoulder to shoulder, and they're limited on PPE, about 20 masks left. At this point right now, I uh, would be exhausted on, on one call out. Dupuy asking people to enjoy mark trails in smaller areas. The mountains are still in full winter, and it doesn't take uh, you very far to walk before you're in snow that's knee deep. New Hampshire Fish and Game says all it takes is a simple injury while hiking or backcountry skiing to potentially expose a whole group of rescuers. We're recommending people don't take these epic hikes. Don't try to use this time to catch up on the 4,000 footers, but rather stay close to home. Rescue workers hoping they won't be needed in the midst of the pandemic. Just understand how many people you put at risk if you need to be rescued. It's a tremendous number of people, and we can't respond quickly. 